Hey guys, my name is Junior Gar, and I'm here right in the heart of London, here in Bloomsbury. And today we're recording acoustic versions of my latest EP, The Garden. The garden is a dwelling place. It's a place where we can come and feel at home. And it's a place where we can come back to the heart of God. Today is a really good opportunity to show off the songs almost a bit more in a raw, organic way. What made me want to be a part of it is um, the, the soul, the story behind the songs. Um, these are songs that it doesn't matter what I'm doing, whenever I turn them on, like I can worship to them, I can, you know, really have a great time. I can't wait to show you what we've got in store for you. Stay tuned, we're excited. Nick is a video director and Jude, Jude is a producer and um, would you like to talk about what, yeah. what your role is? Obviously Junior brought us on to, to collaborate on this project. He's come up with an EP, um, The Garden, and this is the acoustic version we, we're recording today. And um, when it was discussed with us and Junior, we thought this is an exciting project and we just jumped on straight. Um, yeah, we're excited and we hope you're excited as well because it's going to be brilliant. And um, yeah, stay tuned, we're excited. These songs are really stories of my life. And so every time I, I sing a song that I've written or I sing a song that I've been part of writing, it, it, it takes me back into, in, into that moment. These songs are, these stories are, 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 are real. Like this, they're, they're, they're things that have happened. They're encounters that I've had with God. They're revelations that I've had with God. A few years ago we started dreaming about um, creating a home for some of the kind of more uh, emerging and progressive worship music that was coming out of the UK. Um, so Integrity were, were crazy enough to let me start this imprint called Running Club. I think today and doing these acoustic sessions are super important for Junior and how God is using him in song and in worship at the moment. Um, Partly just to show again like who he is and the call of God on his life and um, to kind of almost show off those gifts and talents that God has given him which allow others to encounter God through the songs that he's writing and the worship that he's leading. Junior has this really fresh approach to music mm. and so it really encourages you and just even me in general to just keep an open mind um, and he has some amazing ideas that you know we oh, all yeah. bounce off each other and even working with him I've, I've grown a lot honestly. How difficult is it to work with Junior? How difficult? How difficult is it? You see the word I use? I don't think difficult is the word. What's the word? Competitive. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 no. Oh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, man. It's it's That's it's interesting. it's eye opening. You know, especially for that. Like... <laughs> 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 let me let me let me put it like that. <laughs> let me put it like that. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can explain why it's eye-opening, like, yeah. There's no word to describe the, there's no, the, oh, wow. You can't put it in one word, like, Junior is, 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 
Yeah, he's a he's a whole, he's a whole special breed, you know. And there's a and special and special breed has a uniqueness to it. Working with Junior is it's an it's such an experience, and I think what I know that he is a family person. So you can never just work with Junior. You you become part of Junior's family. And one thing that I would say in terms of the like the the Christ that comes out of his music. He, he is a master of moments. Yeah. So even in rehearsals, if there is a moment, Junior's never gonna let it slip by. Yeah. And I think that always comes out in the live performances and in the studio sound. He's the master, he is a master of recognizing what is happening and letting the music like amplify that. Hallelujah, somebody lift your hands. Lift your hands right there. Lift your hands, the anointing of the Lord. So, what, well, yeah, what are we doing? It's some acoustic recording of Junior's songs. Um, so yeah, we made an EP last year and we're gonna record some acoustic versions. Uh, playing a bit of drums, percussion stuff. Um, so yeah, just trying to kind of um, bring some of the sounds, the vibes that are on the EP, um, but in, in more of a stripped down kind of way. We've got the kit set up, power, data run to each of the lights. Uh, so now just looking at the overall view, so positioning the colour to fill the space and then the spots to, to light the singers. Oh, and okay. That sort of thing. Go 60. Uh, 60, uh, maybe we keep it 50. So I'm uh, setting up the sound for the guys. So we're um, setting up a full multi track recording plus monitoring for all the guys so they can hear themselves and we can capture the performance. Me and Junior were chatting about it. we really wanted to kind of blend a few of the styles that we love together. So. Junior bringing his kind of gospel influence, some kind of African influences, and then me kind of coming from a bit more of a rock, Coldplay background, <laughs> trying to like merge the two and kind of come up with something that we'd never heard before, that really celebrates both of the worlds and kind of joins them together. And so, I, yeah, when I listen to the EP, it just sounds like going to one of those all-you-can-eat restaurants where they got food from like. Italy, China, <laughs> like there's a bit, there's a bit, yeah, there's a bit of everything, and it's like, oh, I love that, I love that, I love that. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Isn't it? I am a So myself and the team decided to do a more alternative version, which felt more intimate and, and stripped down. Um, and we felt that these versions could actually connect um, with the heart of, of the individual listening to it. So that's why, that's why we did the acoustic sessions. These songs are really stories of my life. And so every time I, I sing a song that I've written or I sing a song that I've been part of writing, it, it, it takes me back into, in, into that moment. And so I don't really feel like I, I have to get into character or anything. I'm, I'm just, just pulled into the moment um, because these songs, are, these stories are, 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 are real. Like they're, they're, they're things that have happened. They're encounters that I've had with God. They're revelations that I've had with God. And so, um, yeah, like every time I sing a song, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm always pulled back into, into, um, into the moment, into the season um, that it was written. So Johnny asked me to be involved with this and the recording of the acoustic stuff and of course was really excited to be involved. Obviously it's a slightly different approach, so um, we've got um, Johnny's playing acoustic and I'm playing sort of a smaller drum kit with some kind of percussion elements as well. Um, 
which is really fun actually, like trying to think about how do you kind of bring the sound, some of the sounds of the record to this acoustic EP, but you know, more stripped back, um, but still, you know, in the same style. We're trying to achieve just sort of really earthy, organic, authentic tones um, that really just complement the vocals, let the vocals shine, let them be the star of the show. And if, if me and Ruben, the drummer, can kind of become invisible, then we've done our job. <laughs> it's just great to show off the songs in another way and, um, you know, when you strip things away, it kind of le lets your imagination do more of the work to fill in the gaps and people can interpret in a different way. And the, the thing about music is it's all so subjective, isn't it? So one person will love the big epic thing, but another person might love it hearing a bit more quiet and um, organic, I suppose, yeah. I met Junior last year um, at a worship event that he was leading at and was super, super, super blessed by it. And um, fast forward to now, privileged to be a part of, you know, the garden project with my two sisters, not just friends, but sisters. One of the first few conversations that I had with Junior, um, he was sharing with me his journey um, and also the projects that he has coming up. And I think what made me want to be a part of it is um, the, the soul, the story behind the songs. Um, these are songs that it doesn't matter what I'm doing, whenever I turn them on, like I can worship to them. I can, you know, really have a great time um, in God's presence. And you can just hear the authenticity um, in the music. So that's, that's what really drew me. Junior is all about the presence um, in conversations, in rehearsals, and when it comes time to, you know, deliver. So for me, it was really just an opportunity to continue that relationship and, and enjoy where those songs really come from, because they're deep songs, man. They are deep songs and they, they are impactful. For me, Junior's always been ahead of his time. He's always sung songs that, like, five, ten years later, we're like, oh, wow. And, um, yeah, he just takes it straight from heaven, man, and that's why I knew that I wanted to work with him again. And it's been, it's been just that. It's been heaven in the rehearsals, and it's been amazing. So the EP is called The Garden and for me the garden represents the beginning of our human experience and as believers I feel like the, the garden is where we start. It's a dwelling place, it's a place where we can come and feel at home and come back to the heart of God. The creative process was quite simple because the songs themselves were very creative. So for me, it was a matter of looking at the venue and deciding on which parts of the venue would work 
um, with a particular style that Junior wants to obviously go for. I've known Junior for many, many years, over 18 years since we were kids and we've grown up creatively and we've always had a dream to produce some sort of a documentary, write songs and other things. So he went to the States, came back, uh, we met up, I think two years ago, discussed music, God, um, ministry. After many discussions with Junior, um, I spoke with Nick, the video director, about the project and the idea that we wanted to achieve. So back and forth, and then we just came on an agreement and then um, we scouted locations, went through some ideas, discussed it with Junior and then to the label and then here we have it. Hi guys, so the live acoustic version of The Garden comes out in just a few days, so be on the lookout for it. <laughs>